Welcome to the three predictions preview for week eight, right here on College Football Media. If you're new here, we talk about teams, trends, and traditions to logos, history, and predictions. If that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing for more in-depth college football content. So I want to give a quick shout out to the Minnesota Golden Gophers. They are 6-0. PJ Fleck uh, has been there, I believe it's his third season now, row the boat. He came over from Western Michigan, uh, now at Minnesota, and it might have taken a little bit longer to get started there at Minnesota, but he is on a roll now. They're rowing the boat, and of course, um, they'll have Wisconsin coming up, So, but still, it's pretty amazing to, to see Minnesota 6-0 and right now, doing as good as they are, and so they at least deserve a quick shout-out for how they're playing so far this season. The Baylor Bears are also 6-0, and they probably were in a worse situation than Minnesota was in, considering how Art Bryles left that program a couple years ago, um, when Matt Rule came over from Temple, and he really has resurrected that program as well. Um, they're 6-0, of course, they have Texas and Oklahoma ahead of them, and so they may not have much of an easier path than Minnesota either, but still pretty incredible to see where Baylor is at and how they're doing so far this season as well. Of course, the big game last week was Georgia and South Carolina, the huge upset that nobody expected. Um, but you have to give a lot of credit to South Carolina and how they played that game. Uh, they deserved to win the game, but just about gave it up several times. But Georgia, on the other hand, either they'll bounce back or it could derail their whole season. Uh, we don't really know, only time will tell. Um, but a little bit of a at least a self-check moment for Georgia, and we'll see how they respond the rest of this season. But a great win for South Carolina and Will Muschamp's team. So for the Week 8 predictions, we're going to start with the gridiron guarantee. Oregon at Washington. It's the Apple Cup. And honestly, it might be one of the most underrated rivalries in college football. Oregon looks a lot better from the first loss they had this season. They continue to improve week after week but now they travel to Washington. Oregon is favored by two and a half points on the road and could see a tough test against the Huskies. But I guarantee that the Ducks will pull out with a win in this game. For the upset alert, I'm giving a little love to the group of five teams. Watch for Temple at SMU. And SMU has had a great season so far. They're undefeated, um, but Temple just had a huge upset against Memphis at home last week. And Temple has won two Power 5 games so far. They beat Maryland at home, and they beat Georgia Tech at home. So Temple is doing pretty good. Um, but from what I've been able to tell, I think they play better at home than they do on the road. But this week, Temple is a 7.5 point dog to the SMU Mustangs. And so I think SMU can definitely win this game, but watch for it. Um, they're favored by a touchdown, and it's a cross-divisional uh, team within the American Conference and Temple has been doing pretty good as of late. So just watch for an upset in the group of five, the Owls over the Mustangs, maybe. Game of the week and college game day is in Pennsylvania for Michigan at Penn State. The Wolverines really, really need a big win. Um, it could do them and Jim Harbaugh a lot of good. But the Nittany Lions are undefeated right now, and they get this game at home in a whiteout. Penn State is favored by nine points in this game, and if Michigan is going to win, their offense has got to show up. And while I expect it to be a pretty good game and Michigan might be able to put up a fight, I think the Nittany Lions will be able to pull one out this week and get a win at home in such a big game. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more college football content. You can check out some more videos right here. If you enjoyed this video, again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, be goody now.